Yo, today we are going through the tricking game and we got some updates. So if you guys don't know, Charles, one of the people in the tricking community, created a tricking game and you can get it for free on his Instagram. You go to the Discord, you download the game and you can play it right on your computer. Guys, it's the first link in the description down below. Please get the game, try it out and mark your calendars. June 3rd to June 5th, Mastering Tricking gathering. Just mark the calendar, make sure you got that weekend free because there is going to be a banger tricking event happening and I want all of you guys to be there. But with that started, with that said, I'm gonna get started on the tricking game. Can't talk yo, talking is hard. So Charles, the guy that made the game, has included a ton of new animations including a new animation for full in back out. Before it was a little bit less tucked, now it's a little bit more tucked and a little bit more off axis. Another thing he added in was double layout, which I'll try and do right now. Let me see. Okay, round off, double layout. Yes, yes! My guy's out here looking like Dom, hitting the double lays. Yo, I'm so glad that he included a lot more tumbling oriented tricks. Like, the fact that you can do double backflip, double layout, and a lot of these double flips now, that will hopefully get a lot more people who are interested in tumbling, interested in the tricking game. Because we just need more people. We just need more people doing this cool stuff. If we have more people doing this cool stuff, everything will be easier. Everything will be easier. Oh, can we do no hands reverse out? I don't even think we can reverse out. Let me see if... Reverse Sow is in the instructions. I'd love to be able to reverse Sow in the game, but I don't think that trick is in here. Like the thing about tricking is it contains hundreds of thousands of different skills, and it's hard to put all of them in a game that's also complete and realistic. Like this guy has a lot of variations for the corkscrew, but every variation that he does of the cork, you could also do for your B twist and your full. And programming all of that in is just a lot, especially for a one man project. Shout out Charles, oh my God. The fact that he's been able to do this much is crazy. But unfortunately, I do not see reverse Al. I don't think we can do reverse Al. All right, I've put in double cork. It's like you put in the trick and then you can chill but you need to put in the trick at the right timing. And it's like between the other two tricks that you put in the input of the one trick. All right, I'm gonna end with a triple cork. I don't think we can swing our triple cork. Holy shit, we can swing our triple cork now. Yo, that is huge. I had no idea that they did that. Dude, that's so cool. Yes. How many people consider cartwheel to be a flip? Not enough. Not enough. Cartwheel is most definitely a flip. If your hips are going over your head, you're flipping. That's my rule. If your hips go over your head or even like when sometimes your hips go over your head from the side and you get like that semi flip axis, there's like pseudo flips and flips and tricking. If your hips are going anywhere over your head, then I consider that a flip. Like butterfly kick is not a flip. But tricking aerial is a flip, if that makes sense to you guys. Exactly, I would call it a pseudo flip. Most things in tricking are pseudo flips. Unless you're doing like a completely linear like, let me show you an example. This right here, this aerial is a pseudo flip. His hips are not going perfectly over his head. Actually, they may be. Looking at this animation, this aerial may be not as pseudo flippy. But when he does the cartwheel, you can tell he goes way more over to the side and it's way more of a pseudo flip. But you compare that to something like a normal front flip and it's hips right overhead. Hips right overhead. When the character does a full in back out in the game, when you see a lot of trickers do full in back out, they'll do it on the pseudo flip axis, but this guy's doing it super straight up and down. And that's not how you see trickers normally do it. Cartwheel. Pull in. There we go. Oh, I don't know what just happened there. But you'll see, or you saw that it's very inverted. It's not as uh, off axis as you'll see a lot of trickers do their full ins in real life. Doing the pseudo flip is like the cheat way of getting the uh, harder skill faster. And it is kind of like a cheat way. 
Yeah, his hips are straight over his head during that backflip. But like compare that to like a cork or a double cork. A double cork is like definitely off axis. It's not straight hips overhead. Very pseudo flippy. And you compare that to like an icy cork or like a gainer semi. A gainer semi is super pseudo flip. Like the gainer semi front swing rise, this all happens on a pseudo flip axis. And now my guy's just wasted. So it's like mastering not only the flip axis, but the pseudo flip axis is incredibly important for tricking. But don't rush it. Pseudo flips get kind of scary kind of fast. Brandy double back isn't too crazy. What? You can do front flip one and a half now? Yo, I had no idea. I had no idea he put in front flip one and a half. That is one of my favorite skills to see that I cannot do at all. So I need to learn how to do this. Front flip 1.5. That is so cool. Oh my God. And he finally put in half twisting. Good, good. Oh damn, it's not even in the controls. It's not even in the controls. I'm gonna have to figure this out, guys. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Let me see, scroll through it one more time. Bye. Let me see. Dang, front flip dive roll isn't even in the controls. There's more hidden tricks. Charles keeps putting in hidden tricks. Oh, that is so dope, dude. I love that he's not just putting every trick in the direction list. You have to actually find out and discover what tricks are what. And that is so sick. All right, now I need to figure out how to front flip dive roll. No, 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 there, there has to be an input. There's always an input. Cause like this has happened before when he put in rodeo cork. He forgot to put in inputs for rodeo cork when they first put out the game. So you just had to discover it. Yes, we found it, we found it. So to do a front flip one and a half, you do a front flip while holding both of the bumpers. The bumpers are like your hands and your arms. That is so sick. You just have to hold everything down. All right, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. I did it, and now I don't know how to do it again. What? Oh, what just happened there? That looked uncomfortable. I love it when trickers are teaching other trickers. That is like one of my favorite things. Okay, so it's not only do you have to do both bumpers down, but you literally do a double front flip with both bumpers. If you do a double front flip with the bumpers, you get this front end dive roll. That is so sick. Congratulations, yo. I just taught everybody a move that was not in the instructions. We're learning. We're learning. That is so sick. Dude, Charles, thank you for putting that in. I can't believe you put that in. That is so cool of you, dude. Now, what can I do out of it? 